Hello, we are on day 13 and I'm going to be reading Mark 9 verse 33 to Mark 10 verse 16 today. They came to Capernaum. When he was in the house, he asked them, what were you arguing about on the road? But they kept quiet, because on the way they had argued about who was the greatest. Sitting down, Jesus called the twelve and said, Anyone who wants to be first must be the very last and the servant of all. He took a little child, whom he placed among them. Taking the child in his arms, he said to them, Whoever welcomes one of these little children in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me does not welcome me, but the one who sent me. Teacher, said John, we saw someone driving out demons in your name, and we told him to stop because he was not one of us. Do not stop him, Jesus said, for no one who does a miracle in my name can in the next moment say anything bad about me, for whoever is not against us is for us. Truly, I tell you, anyone who gives you a cup of water in my name because you belong to the Messiah will certainly not lose their reward. If anyone causes one of these little ones, those who believe in me, to stumble, it would be better for them if a large millstone were hung around their neck and they were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life maimed than with two hands to go into hell, where the fire never goes out. And if your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life crippled than to have two feet and to be thrown into hell. And if your eye causes you to stumble, pluck it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into hell, where the worms that eat them do not die and the fire is not quenched. Salt is good, but if it loses its saltiness, how can you make it salty again? Have salt among yourself and be at peace with each other. Jesus then left that place and went into the region of Judea and across the Jordan. Again, crowds of people came to him and as he was custom, his taught, his, he taught them. Some Pharisees came and tested him by asking, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife? What did Moses command you? He replied. They said, Moses permitted a man to write a certificate of divorce and send her away. It was because your hearts were at heart that Moses wrote you this law, Jesus replied. But at the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. When they were in the house again, the disciples asked Jesus about this. He answered, Anyone who divorces his wife and marries another woman commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another man, she commits adultery. People were bringing little children to Jesus for him to place his hands on them, but the, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said to them, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly, I tell you, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child, will never enter it. And he took the children in his arms, placed his hands on them, and blessed them. So in this reading today, we had some really extreme things. Jesus said, okay, it's better to, to cut your hand off than to be, have sinful hands and enter, enter hell. He said some really extreme things. And this made me thinking, life with Jesus is very extreme. And it can be extremely challenging. For example, in your daily life, you get, you get overcome with challenges. People challenge you sometimes. The devil is just everywhere. But that's the challenge in living with Jesus. He never said that it would be easy. And the thing is, it can be extremely fulfilling. And it is extremely fulfilling. And Jesus is extremely loving. He loves us so much. He went even further than that. He went on the cross for us, for our sins to die for us. And this is such an extreme promise. So we can try and do that 
in our, in, our, in our daily lives. We can try and be extreme. We can try and be extreme in talking to other people about Jesus and telling them about him or giving other people our love about, from Jesus. And I think if we try this, then we get a bit closer to Jesus every day. God bless. <laughs>